Latvia becomes the 37th country to host a WRC event, having previously been a round of the European Championship since 2014. Known for its long daylight hours in the summer and super fast roads, with similar soft sandy character to Poland and Estonia. And being a brand new event brings some unique challenges, with teams and crews working overtime in the build-up to make sure they are as prepared as possible to maximise their chance to make a piece of WRC history. Too young to drive in his native Finland, Latvia was the country where Kalle Robin Pera started his career. And aged just 16, he became the world's youngest ever national rally champion, retaining the title in 2017. He's back for another Baltic blast, fresh from his unbelievable performance in Poland, where he took top honours despite having minimal time to prepare as a deputy for Sebastian Ogier. His teammate Elvin Evans made a welcome return to the podium, having been in the fight for victory before two tyre problems cost him the chance to challenge his teammate. But running second on the road will be a disadvantage for the Welshman, who again must fight to stay in contention, with those taking advantage of the cleaner road behind. Oitanak's test for this event, when he ran at Rally Estonia as part of the European Rally Championship, came to a terrifying end, with he and co-driver Martin Jarveoja lucky to escape a huge accident that left little intact of their I-20N. His misfortune continued from Poland, where a collision with a deer ended his assault at the start of Stage 2, but he took just one point shy of the maximum available on Super Sunday due to the restart rules and kept himself in touch in the fight for the championship, lying just six points behind Elvin Evans. A fired-up Tanak can be unstoppable on the loose gravel, and he'll be out for nothing less than a victory in Latvia. His Hyundai teammate Esapeka Lappi returns for the first time since Kenya, with the Sweden winner warming up for the weekend by taking part in a national event in Lithuania and will begin with an ideal road position, while championship leader Thierry Neuville will be praying for rain as he hopes to minimise the damage from running first on the road. After his breakthrough weekend in Poland, Martin Sesks returns to M Sport for his home event. After finishing fifth last time out on his Rally 1 debut, the 24-year-old will now be boosted by hybrid power in his Ford Puma, and his local knowledge will be to his advantage, having amassed multiple junior titles in his homeland. You know, today, I will live my life one stage at a time. Adrian Formo's stage end film quotations have become a reason to watch in themselves. But his driving does most of the talking with the rejuvenated Frenchman on the hunt for victory last time out and making a welcome return to the podium. Now lying fifth in the championship, just a point behind his compatriot, Seb Ogier. Gregoire Munster and Louis Luca continue to build momentum, going second fastest on stage four and ending up in a solid seventh place in Poland, with the M Sport trio running high on confidence ahead of Rally Latvia. Sammy Pajeri is the man of the moment in WRC2, with back to back wins for him and Eni Malkinen in their Rally 2 Toyota in Italy and Poland, catapulting them into championship contention. They'll be competing against two-time ERC Rally Leopaya winner Oliver Solberg, who has a win and two second places to his name this year, and other big names like Gus Greensmith, Emma Lindholm and Tamu Sunanen. Nico Hekela crosses over from ERC to challenge the WRC2 regulars with strong previous knowledge from the event. And look out for a debut on the world stage from two-time American champion and MTB freeride legend Brandon Semenuk who is always spectacular to watch, whether it's on two or four wheels. The opening stage is located on Latvia's only permanent race circuit at Vikianeki, with the rallycross and circuit racing venue offering an exceptionally long super special stage at 10 kilometers. Then it's out into the countryside with a fast, flat and wide gravel roads on Friday, driven without a midday service, and features the longest stage of the event, Tukums, a 
flat out blast through the forest and the 20 kilometer Talsi test, which starts on the paved streets of the city. Saturday's action concludes with the picturesque Leopaya City stage with its cobble streets and double donut roundabout and the wolf power stage Mazel Maya includes the technical challenge of ending on another rally cross track, quite similar to the fan favourite Mikolajki that we saw in Poland. So there's everything to play for on what is set to be an historic and unforgettable weekend and it's all live on Rally TV. Let's fall right sharp, middle, into.